All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, yeah, so um, I'm Hunter, uh, a little bit about me. Um, I am the uh, community lead here at Onyx Off-Road. Um, so I get to do do the fun stuff. Um, I, uh, I bounce around events, um, get to do some social stuff, uh, work with our ambassadors, and I, I get to uh, lead mastery classes. Um, I get to spend some time with you guys, um, do a deep dive and, and show what Onyx is all about and how to help you guys use it and go further. Um, I've worked in the off-road industry for about seven years now. Um, I spent some time uh, on a desert racing team, on a chase team, um, racing uh, spec trucks and trophy trucks, um, score and best in the desert series. Um, so that kind of was my first real deep dive into off-roading and, and racing. I've been hooked ever since. Um, but I spent some time in the aftermarket world um, and vehicle upfitting. Um, now I'm, I'm with Honex and uh, get to do a ton of fun projects. Um, every day is, is something new, it's a ton of fun. Um, my background is, is full-size rigs. Um, so full-size meaning uh, four-wheel drives, um, I currently have a, a fifth gen uh, power wagon. Um, I've had about five Toyotas, a um, couple Tundras, uh, Tacoma 4Runner, all that good stuff. Um, go ahead and drop in the chat um, what you ride. Um, Onyx is kind of covers a, a wide range of ride types and disciplines um, from moto to side by sides, uh, snowmobiles, snow bikes all that stuff, um, seeing some Tacomas, some Jeeps, all right, nice, wide range, side-by-sides, four, four runners, I see a BMW, nice, yeah, so Onyx covers a, a wide range of, uh, of off-road trail types, um, and uh, we'll dive in here and uh, go over, um, what's on the, uh, the docket for this evening, what we're doing. Um, we're gonna be doing, going over the basics of the app itself and the tools. Um, this, we're covering a, a wide range of knowledge. So um, if you use Onyx a bunch, there's gonna be value here, but if you've also, this is your first time you've been looking at Onyx um, or opening the app itself, um, we're gonna go run through all the tools and see how it all works. Um, we have probably about 10 slides we'll run through. Um, then we'll jump into the app itself. Um, we'll do it on a phone and then on our, our web map as well. Um, so we're going to run through offline maps, uh, waypoints, trail types, um, all that good stuff. Uh, and then uh, towards the end, uh, we'll do giveaways. Um, you will have to stick around um, to learn how to enter that. Um, I have a pretty cool giveaway. Um, we'll, we'll touch on that, how to enter, uh, once we get there and the last 15, 20 minutes or so, we'll, we'll do, uh, a live Q and A, um, I'll answer as many questions as I can. Um, but if I don't get to them all, uh, someone will be following up, uh, to get your question answered, um, the next day or so. So the, the point of this class is to give a, a good, strong starting point of, of how to use this, um, how, how do you take this and go um, off-road? How do you find new adventures, learn about new places, um, or even learn about where you live, find trails in your backyard, um, and how to go find new trails, um, and also have the, the skill set and the knowledge um, to go down those trails. Um, if you've never been off-roading before, or you're getting, you're just new to it, um, there's a, a great resource. Um, we'll get into our feature trails and our, our technical ratings. Um, so if you've been wheeling for years, um, you can use our feature trails for the hard stuff, but also um, let's say you just got a, a new Bronco and looking to get it dirty for the first time. Uh, there, there's ways to do that as well. Um, so it's a, a wide range of what you can do. Um, and I, I'm here to, to walk you through it and, and get you started. Um, so this is the, the basics. Um, so over here is, is a screenshot of the app itself, what you're going to be walking into on your phone. Um, 
this is off of um, I'm iOS best I'm on iPhone. Um, Android's going to be very, very similar. Um, but when you first open it, it kind of looks like there's a lot of information coming at you. Um, but I'm going to go through kind of each step here, um, what these all mean and the tools. Um, but you can see different colors. So um, over the lands, and there's also the, the trail networks. Um, there's some green and some blue. Um, and then also you can see the tools on the bottom there, um, the search function. All that, all that good stuff. Um, one of the most common questions I come across is what the difference between a green trail and a blue trail is. Um, they're all trails, um, but the blue trails are feature trails, and those are um, trails that our trail guide teams um, have actually rolled and gone down that trail in their own rigs. Um, and they gather the data and they'll get photos, um, description, also provide a, a technical rating. Um, it's a rating from one to 10. Um, one being graded fire road, super easy, like bone stock, super no problem. Um, and then 10, that gets into the rock crawler, um, really, really gnarly stuff. Um, and then in those feature trails, um, you know, have uh, weather forecasts as well. Uh, we try and pack as much information in, in there so then when you actually go to run that trail, you're already armed with an idea of what to expect, um, what conditions are going to be like, and um, give you as much info as possible. Obviously, um, conditions change. Um, common sense is, is really the, the, the best tool you can bring with you. Um, but this gives you a great starting point in making sure that um, if you're not ready to go through the, the technical really hard stuff, um, knowing this trail is not for me yet, or this trail definitely is. Um, and all the blue trails are from uh, actual people who have, have ran that trail. Um, through here is our activity panel. Um, this is where you'll toggle um, dirt mode versus snow mode. Um, you can filter trail types. Um, so if you're just looking for dirt bike single track, you can check that box or um, if you're like me, you're rolling down the trail in a power wagon, you're going to want that full width road or that high clearance four by four. Um, so you can kind of filter um, by what you're looking to do. Um, there is also the private land um, toggle as well um, for the elite users. Um, that covers all 50 states with private land ownership data as well as public land. Um, so you know what land you're going down. Um, and knowing that the different kind of land uses um, that there are. Um, snow mode is awesome. Um, that has um, data for uh, avalanche forecasts, um, kind of risk assessment based on uh, slopes and recent forecasts, um, slope angle, slope aspect. Um, there's a, a whole bunch you can do um, for the, the snow, the snowmobilers and snow bikers of the world. Um, here uh, is the discover feature um, that pulls up trails that are um, near to you um, or if you're looking in an area it'll pull up um, trails near that area that you're looking so um, when you just open it up hit discover it'll pull up trails near you um, but say you're looking to learn about uh, trails in moab you can search moab and this will pull up trails in that in that area um, and these trails um, will cover the name, technical rating, and uh, estimated duration. Um, obviously, the duration is going to change um, depending on your pace, your vehicle, the group you're with. Uh, it just kind of gives you a, a ballpark. And then um, offline maps. Um, this is a, a, a huge tool. Um, we'll also run through. Um, but this is where you'll save maps for when you don't have cell service. Um, you want to download them ahead of time. And with that, um, this works independent of cell service when they're downloaded. Um, it uses the GPS function of your device, um, regardless of cell service when it's downloaded. Um, so you can zoom in um, and, and see where you're at on that trail. Um, and you can see there's, there's three different kind of uh, map sizes. And those I'll, I'll dive into a little bit, um, but the kind of 
uh, changes resolution and um, overall map size, but we're, we're going to dive through that as well. Um, and then there's the my content feature. Um, the more you use the app, uh, the more um, uh, data you're going to be putting in there. So you're going to be putting in waypoints and tracks uh, in there. And this is a great way to keep it all organized. Um, you can kind of filter it by what you want. Um, so if you're running, oh, I'm spending some time in, in Nevada, you can filter it and just kind of put all in one place or side by side stuff. You can really make it your own here. Um, tools, we're going to do a walkthrough of tools um, on both the app and the, uh, the web based. Um, but this is where you can um, do line distances, got to get an idea between distance between point A and point B, um, make waypoints, add photos um, to a location, um, which is one of my favorite functions. Um, so if you find an awesome uh, campsite, you can actually make a waypoint, put a photo in it, um, and you can put notes in it, and you can also share those from there. Um, and there's the, the go and track feature, um, which is also um, super killer. So if you're out on the trail and you just want to run uh, run different trails and kind of keep tabs on what you're doing, um, this will track um, the trails you run, uh, your speed, um, the amount of time, uh, also elevation changes. And that um, that's something you can save and keep for later. You can also share those tracks as well. Um, we're going to do a, a run through. Um, Onyx Off-Road does work with CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, there's no real additional setup that you need to do. Um, if the device is already paired with CarPlay, um, you just go into apps and hit Onyx Off-Road. Uh, it's super easy to have that up on the head unit. Um, I personally run it. I have it on my head unit, um, zoomed in nice and close. And then if there's something that I see or something like on another ridge that I want to check out, I'll keep my phone up as well, I'll pull over um, and kind of zoom in and, and use it that way as well. I, I like doing two screens, but um, that, that's just me. Um, so that covers our, our presentation. Um, I'm going to pull up uh, the, uh, the app here. So just bear with me for just a sec here. Um, I am seeing some questions in the chat. Um, those, uh, there's that Q&A button. Go ahead and drop your questions in there. Uh, and um, I'll do my best to answer as many as I can when we get to that towards the end of the, uh, the session here. But uh, pull this up here. All right. So here is the app itself. Um, so this is what's going to pull up um, where you're at. Um, I'm going to jump over um, to where I have some maps saved. And um, so this is a little bit more what it'll look like after you've used it for a while. You have maps saved, you'll have waypoints, you'll have tracks. Um, but down that bottom left, there's that Discover tab. So we'll hit that. Um, and so we're looking. Uh, the, the Boulder Mountains, but this is going to pull up um, trails near where I'm looking. Um, so you can see here, it pulls up a whole bunch um, of various technical ratings um, from one to 10. It's super easy or get a little bit more into the rocks with that four to 10 there. Um, so this is a great way to find things that are in the area. If you're planning a trip or say you live there, is a great way to, uh, to find what, what's out there um, off of our, our featured trails. Um, so here we'll pull up uh, the Point of Jefferson River Loop. Um, this is what, when you go to tap on one of those, this is what's gonna come up. Um, so it'll show you elevation changes, difficulty, distance, um, the low point, the high point. Um, the best times, um, and then also um, there will be, uh, sometimes you come across a red trail that's like a close for the season trail. Um, but yeah, this is all the, the feature trail data. Um, and this was submitted by uh, one of our trail guides, Brett, and marked it as good for high clearance 4x4s four and uh, full width roads. Um, it has a description in there, give you an idea of what you're going to come across. Um, and even some photos. Um, this is one of my, my favorite functions. It just gives you an idea of the scenery. If you're looking for a camp, 
um, or if you want to kind of spend some time in the desert or something up in the mountains, it just gives you a good idea of what the um, actual terrain you're going to be, be rolling through is going to be like. Um, over here, we'll jump over to uh, offline maps. Um, this is super, super powerful. Um, you can see there's these boxes up here. These are pre-downloaded ones that I've already done um, that are already saved. Um, but what we'll go in and do, um, we'll go ahead and save a new map. Um, so let's say you wanna get kind of a uh, better idea of um, up here in the Elkhorn Mountains. Um, you can do a 10 mile wide and this will take a kind of a snapshot of that. Um, that 10 mile wide gives you pretty good resolution um, when you zoom in, but it keeps it pretty wide. Um, this 150 mile wide um, is great for if you know the general area you're gonna be going, but you know you're gonna be doing some wandering. Um, I always like doing kind of a, a blanket over it. And then you can actually do uh, maps inside of that map. So you can do your general area and then you can drop down to that 10 mile wide. If you know there's a couple of trails, you're definitely going on a run. Um, this is a great way to do that. And then if you know kind of where you want to camp or you know you're going to want to see some higher resolution stuff, you can drop down to the, the five miles wide. And this is where you'll be able to zoom all the way in. Um, I personally like it for, for campsites. Um, if there's BLM land that um, I want to check out or know I'm going to want to do like dispersed camping on, um, this is a great way. So when I go to find a campsite, I'll zoom in, drop a couple waypoints and um, have a few, few backup plans if someone else is there. Um, so then you can go ahead and save that. And then it'll prepare to download. I have a, a bunch of, of maps here, but um, let's say here, you can go in after you've downloaded them, you can actually name them. So you can change it. If you say you can do ELM land with feature, you can go ahead and name it, whatever you want, whatever makes sense. And you're going to be able to, to find it. Um, but that's just a good way of keeping things organized. And then, um, be able to find it, find it for later use. Um, up here next to that new map icon is the go offline button. Um, that's for when you're going into kind of spotty service, we definitely recommend hitting that go offline mode. It'll prevent your device from jumping um, to spotty cell service. Um, it just helps it keep, keep working at optimum levels. Um, so that's just, you just hit that there. Um, so your device isn't jumping back and forth between offline and online. Um, so then we'll jump over to, uh, to my content here, um, touched on a little bit earlier, but this is where all your waypoints and tracks are going to go, uh, go into waypoints. Um, I have some waypoints in here. Um, we actually did the, uh, the gambler 500 a few weeks back. Um, so we used waypoints to mark the trash that we were picking up. Um, so that's what these are in. You can see tire stuff like that. Um, so then these can all be saved. You can touch where it's at. This is over in Oregon. Um, and then once you're there, you can navigate to it and go to the waypoint. Um, and you can also share it as well. Let me jump back over to uh, our maps here. Um, we'll jump over to tools. Um, this is where um, that line distance tool is. Um, there's also the area shape tool, uh, which I like if you kind of have an area you want to stay within um, or kind of want to know the rough size of something, you can actually go in um, and it'll, those little crosshairs will come up and then you can go ahead and you hit drop point. So if you just want to get a blanket idea or you know you want to stay within these bounds, it'll actually start uh, making a shape for you and it also even gives the uh the acreage of that that size that you're going to be going in. so you can go ahead and save it um add notes to it all that good stuff and then over here is the add waypoint there's actually two ways you can add a waypoint uh, one you can go into tools and do it or um, you can actually touch the screen and do a, a long hold um, let's find a good spot here so let's say we're running up 
uh, Ring and Rocks Trail here, and we came across the the best the best lunch spot. It has a great view, plenty of room for people to park rigs. Um, you can go in, drop that pin, um, and name it. Um, view lunch spot, and then we have a ton of different icons. Um, some are, are pretty fun. Um, so you can go ahead and, and set it. Um, we'll put that there. And then you can go in and edit. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can put in there. You can change the color of it. You can add photos to it. Um, and you can add notes as well. Um, so if there's like go to the parking lot and then walk down this trail to the left, you can put that all in there. Um, and then once that's in there, you can actually share it. There's that little share icon. Um, you can just text it to your buddy. And uh, if they have Onyx, it'll come right up. Um, that's that's something that I, I've used a lot, uh, especially when we're going out. Um, there's not a lot of cell service um, of campsite that we have. Um, make a waypoint and I'll drop it and um, share it so people can, can find it pretty easily. Um, and over here is the... Uh, the go and track feature. Um, this is pretty pretty straightforward. You just hit record track and then you'll start going. Um, it also shows your heading. So you'll see as I rotate the device here, it actually shows which way you're pointing. Um, but as it tracks, it'll track your heading and uh, where you're going. Um, those elevation changes. Um, and over here, this is the, uh, the base map. So you can toggle between satellite hybrid or, or topo. Uh, some people are like just running topo and that um, it kind of takes out some of the noise of the actual satellite imagery if you just want to see um, elevation changes and stuff like that. So when you zoom in there, you'll, you'll see that. So you can toggle between it. Um, and up here is uh, weather. So of that area that you're looking, um, it'll pull up um, the forecast um, for the week. Sunrise, sunset, um, looks like a thunderstorm. So there's an easy way all packaged up into one of um, kind of scouting out an area. Um, and up here is a search function. Um, so if you want to look up somewhere, let's say we're going to, uh, to Moab, um, and search it, comes up here, and then um, it'll pull up the, uh, the, the local trails of, uh, of Moab here. Yeah, so once you're there, Hell's Revenge, Moab Rim, Sand Flats, all that, all that good stuff. Um, so again, great if you're looking into a new area and want to find kind of places to go. Um, then on this top left, um, this is where you'll go to your settings, your account, um, Help Center. Um, this is a great resource if you're having troubles with something. Um, there's a ton of resources of how to find something and also uh, links to get in touch with our uh, customer experience team. Um, they do a, a killer job of, of getting in touch with people um, and, and troubleshooting and making sure it's, it's working for, uh, for what you need it to do. Um, so that, that covers kind of the, the app itself. Um, and then uh, from here, we're going to jump uh, and go ahead and jump over to the, uh, I'm going to jump into the uh, the web app here. So you can see it's similar kind of layout as the app, but obviously on a much wider screen. Um, this is um, one of my favorite ways to kind of scope and scout out just on a, a bigger surface. Um, so you have the tools, um, same tools they have on your phone um, on that, that right side there. Um, so if you want to just, you can draw out a quick route um, or you can drop points and kind of link things through it. So you want to run up this trail here, you can make one. You can get as detailed or kind of rough as you want. Um, we are working on a, uh, a new way to route and we'll have uh, more info on that as it comes closer and we'll also do a, a master class on that as well. Um, but yeah, so it'll give you your distances, and then you can link it all together here. 
um, kind of touch through if you just want to do a quick, quick route. Um, here, so then, yeah, so it'll be a little, quick little, little out and back here. And then you can save it, name it, be Moab, sample. And then change the color of the route if you want, make it blue, whatever you want to do. And then make notes, um, quick loop. And then save it. And you'll see it's in there. It'll have the elevation changes there as well as um, where you can, uh, you can share that route as well. On the, uh, the left-hand side, here's that uh, Discover tab, exact same function as uh, on the phone, um, where it'll pull up uh, the Trails logo to you, your offline maps. Um, you can actually um, kind of plan out your offline maps and then you can save it and then it'll actually populate on your phone um, for you to download on the device. So you can save it, the area that you want, and you can go into the uh, device and it'll uh, prompt you to, to, uh, to download it for before you, uh, you take off there. Um, here's the My Content folder, again, where you can organize everything. Um, and here's something new that's pretty fun. Um, it's called My Garage. Um, this is where you can add the, the vehicles that you have. Um, you can see here, I have my power wagon in there. So you can add your vehicle type. Um, we're adding uh, different vehicle types all the time. Um, and you can add in more details as well. Um, like I'm running 37s, uh, have a hitch gate on there. Um, and then also the, the trail types that you want to run. So then with that, you can actually toggle which trails you want to see based on the vehicle that you're in. Um, so if you, I put a, a, a razor in there. So if you just want um, 15 inch trails, you can pull that up. So you know that the stuff that's populating is, um, is good for the, uh, the ride type that, that you like. Um, so that, that's something that's, um, that we knew we added on and I'm, I'm a big fan of. Uh, let's see here. So then we'll do a quick run of uh, how to do an offline map on the desktop. Again, you're prompted of the, uh, the size. So you can do a, a big one. Um, and if you're doing like a long overland route, you can actually stack these up um, to kind of give a, a pathway that you're gonna do. Um, and then you can go in later um, with your, your more detailed resolutions. Um, so yeah, you can hit save here. It'll do mid res Moab, save. Okay, so then it'll, it'll let you know that it doesn't mean that this is downloaded on your computer. Um, it's that it'll populate in your device for you to download it. So you'll definitely wanna go into your offline maps on your device and, um, and hit download. So then you can, do, uh, you can do waypoints on this as well. Um, right here, you can click and drag where you want it. And similar um, to the device, you can do um, on your desktop as well. Just a second here while I pull this up. And I can jump back in this when we get into the Q&A um, and do a, a quick run through um, of, uh, of that. Um, so yeah, we did the, uh, the route. Yeah, so that, that gives you a general idea of how to use this. Um, again, dirt mode versus snow mode. You can toggle what you're looking at. Um, you can filter if you want to look at all the trails or if you just want dirt bike trails, um, you can see those in through there. A um, ton of different ways you can make sure that yeah, you're looking at uh, what you want to be looking at.
So that kind of covers up, uh, kind of covers the in-app there. Um, again, we can jump back in and uh, touch on it some more. Um, and we can get into the, uh, the giveaway here. Um, so as um, you guys are stuck around, um, we are doing uh, our off-road bandanas. I'm doing 50 uh, giveaway for them. Uh, there's a link there where you can um, join to enter. Um, the odds are, are pretty good. So definitely jump in. It will be closed um, at midnight tonight. And then for those watching um, after it's been recorded, um, it's, uh, it, it, is, it is closed. Um, I always like um, seeing what people um, use Onyx for if you have used it. Um, if you want to drop in the chat uh, different ways um, that Onyx has worked for you or even times that um, you wish you had Onyx. Um, one for me, um, I was going off, uh, going up um, some old fire roads in, uh, in SoCal and uh, there was a, a hole that was covered up by some brush and uh, ended up dropping the, that, that front right in there and ended up breaking the shock. Um, so I really didn't want to have to bring the truck back down the way I came. Uh, and one of my buddies pulled up on X and um, we found a much longer way home, but we did find a much smoother way and easier way to, uh, to get back home and get back down. Um, in the chat, seeing people using, uh, using it in Baja to uh, find spots to, uh, to spectate. That's awesome. Um, I've used it for the print, private land data pipeline engineer right on. Um, used it in Moab last week. Yeah, so there's a ton of stuff you can use this for. Um, but yeah, it, hopefully this is going through some, some tools that you can use it, um, know how to, to be ready for your next adventure. Um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll open up to the, uh, the Q&A. All right, let's see. So this is, again, if you have questions, there's that Q&A feature, just drop them in there. I'm gonna try and bust out as many as I can. Um, I'll probably jump in and uh, do a little how-to as well um, as we get through it. Um, here's a good one here. Um, how does the app know where I am when I'm out of service using offline maps? Um, your phone has a built-in GPS device um, that doesn't rely on cell towers. Um, so whether you have cell service or not, um, that'll tell you your location and then you're downloading the maps um, to be able to translate what that location is onto actual, on actual land there. And that's, that's cross devices, um, iPhones, uh, Android, iPads, um, pretty much mo most devices have them uh, in there. Um, can I click in an area to find out, to find out how far nearby routes are? Yes, so um, we kind of touched on that with that discover mode. So if you're looking in an area, hit that discover mode and um, routes will come up near you. What would you use the property information in the elite version for? Uh, that's a good question. Um, so the elite version has private land as well as public land. Um, so you'll actually see who owns that land. Um, I actually ran into a situation, um, well, actually a friend of mine did, um, or he was trying to get access and realized that um, it has the, uh, the land owner name on it. And I actually realized that um, his dad, um, knew him and was able to get access and go through that land. Um, so there, there's a ton of different uses for it. Um, the public land, it's great to know what kind of public land you're on and what you can and can't do on that land. So if you're on BLM land, you're good to, to camp. But if you're in uh, like a national park, you know that, that there's different rules and uh, regulations on that. Uh, how do I share my waypoints and tracks with others? Um, that there is that, um, that share function that we touched on, um, that'll populate. And so you hit that share button and, um, it'll take you probably how you want to share it. Um, text is usually my, my go-to, um, and you can text it and 
if the other person that's receiving that has Onyx, um, it'll populate that right on their, their app and they can save it as well. Um, any suggestions to find dispersed camping sites off trails? Um, yes, the way I do it um, is I'll go into like a public land area um, of a, a place that I know that I'm going to want to go. Um, and I'll actually zoom in um, and look for that. So I'll know that the land that it's on. So I'll look for, for BLM land and I know that I can disperse camp on there. Um, and then I'll zoom in and I'll usually drop probably five or six different waypoints. Um, and uh, in case there's someone else in one spot that I found, I have kind of a few to, to fall back on, but I'll actually zoom in and, and like you can find usually clearings or, or trails inside of it. Um, how do I search discovery for an area that's not near me? Um, that there's that search tab on the top right. Um, you type in where you want to go. Um, say you want to look up Johnson Valley, you tap um, that search icon, type in Johnson Valley, it'll come up. Seeing some about sharing routes and waypoints. Um, yeah, let's let's jump back in. Uh, let's jump into the app here, and we'll we'll pull up some some waypoints. Okay, so here I'll go to my content on that bottom tab. I'll go into my saved waypoints. And then, so here I have one for a closed gate, stay right. Um, so there's all my info. There's a photo added to it. Um, and then on that bottom row there, um, there's that share icon. And you can hit that. Um, whoever you send it to won't be able to edit it or change it. Um, but you can uh, hit share um, in there. And then it'll populate um, your, your profile and get that all shared there. Let's look for some more here. In the Pipestone area, there are some trails that are gray, such as White Hill Road. What does the gray mean? Um, we can search that here. Okay. So as that loads, and it'll start populating the, uh, the trails here. Uh, but the different meanings in, uh, in that gray is usually mean it's closed to, um, to motorized travel. So um, a lot of hiking trails will pop up um, and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll zoom in, get a lot of uh, feature trails here. And then um, as that loads more into it, and you can also see uh, that red trail there, touch that. And then show that it's managed by a forest service. And then that red means that it's uh, um, out of season at the moment. All right, let's see here. Are my photos or notes seen to the public? That is a, a really common question we get. Um, the only, it's only, viewable by whoever you send it to. Um, so if you have some awesome hidden secrets, um, you can put those in the app and that stays with your account. Those aren't um, able for other people to share. But if you want to share with some other people, um, there's that share function um, you can pick. Um, I know I have a handful of uh, um, spots that I, I re wouldn't really want uh, the general public to know about. Um, I was like kind of doing your own adventuring, your own hunting. Um, so I have mine saved. And um, if there's one that I want to share, um, I'll pick who shares that. But um, yeah, it's definitely um, kept, uh, kept to the profile. All right. Will with offline maps, does it still track as you move or do you have to manage school? It'll, it'll, um, 
it'll track with you. Um, if you go outside of that bound, um, you'll start seeing that um, your, your heading go off um, away from the, the data and where it's all saved. So that's why I like doing that big blanket map. Um, so if you end up going off your, your high res ones, um, that'll, that you'll still have that, that larger one to keep you on there. Um, what's the difference between basic, premium, and elite? Um, the basic account or the free accounts, um, those are um, limited on what you can and can't do. Um, but uh, once you get into uh, a premium, um, that's when you start getting more functions um, and you'll start to be able to save some maps. Um, but uh, there are limits to that. Um, and then elite has the full private land data package in it, as well as um, unlimited offline maps, um, depending on, on how much your, your device can hold. Let's see here. Uh, what are your best tips to scout trails in advance and plan routes? Um, I'll go in to the, uh, the web app. I can jump over there. Uh, let's go ahead. Jump back into that web app here. Um, so let's say if I wanna go um, check out Johnson Valley, that's a lot, I've spent a lot of time out there, but I can go ahead and search that. And it'll pull up over here. Um, so if there's a general area that I want to go or where I know people are out at, um, I always like starting with feature trails um, and then starting with a road that I'm going to, I know I'm going to be going down. Um, so I know I'll be heading down the 247 here. Um, and you can, you can see if you want to get out into that lake bed, um, and tap, touch that trail there. That one's not a feature trail, um, but it does have a good amount of info. Um, I'll show you that it's open year round. Um, service type is dirt and rocks um, and no fee required. Um, permit required, yes. Um, that is an OHV area. Um, so depending on the, your ride type, you will have to have um, a permit. Um, but that way I can kind of get an idea of where I want to go. If I want to go run down and around up into the hills here, um, you can zoom in real close. And then um, again, great function of waypoints. Um, I know that here's a great spot right in the middle. You can drop it um, right there. Like I think that would be a, a solid meeting, meeting point. Um, but there's some other trails that kind of spread out around it, uh, but it'd be easy access. So then here I would go meet spot and then mark it, put a fun uh, little icon on it. Um, say, going to go ride quads, make that there and then save it. So then this I can go back to, and again, you can go in and, and click that share function. Look for some more questions here. Uh, can you use the rest of the app while you're in record track mode? And can you share your recorded tracks easily with friends so they can run your route? Yes, 100%. Um, that can run in the background. Um, you can be out of the app itself and have it running in the background. So you're not locked into it. Um, if you want to go look at a different trail or use some other features of Onyx, or if you actually need to jump out um, and use uh, another app. Um, so that, that'll run in the, uh, in the background um, once you hit that, that start track. Let's see. Um, offline maps, when you download, does it download current view, satellite versus Tobo or both? Um, so with that, we'll actually pull up and jump back over the phone here.
So we'll do a simulation of being fully in offline maps here. So go on that bottom tab, hit offline maps. We're gonna to go to uh, the one I have saved for the Elkhorn Mountains and then scroll up, I'm gonna go offline. So this is going off of what's already saved um, in my phone and you can go in here, zoom in nice and tight and you can jump between uh, jump between them here. So that's it's kind of it's kind of baked in there. Um, let's see, does Onyx work in Baja? Yes, it does. Um, and that's something that we're working on adding more trails, more feature trails down there. Um, but yeah, it uh, it definitely works um, when you're uh, south of the border there. Um, let me pull up some trails here. So back uh, back online and then zoom out and head uh, head south oh, let's do and you can hit that um, in the bottom corner there and you actually hit uh, hit the location see where you're at so I'll actually show your, your location and you can toggle between that. So it'll show your heading and you turn the device there um, where you're at and then you can do it as, uh, as facing north. Um, so then here, jump over to uh, go down Baja. So you can see in Baja, we do have some trails, um, some green hills and then also on the uh, going down the Baja Peninsula, we have uh, some feature trails as well. Um, so this is a, a solid tool um, for those looking to, uh, to, to journey south. Let's see. How do I use 3D? Okay, so a good, we'll pull up one. That's a, one of my favorites. Pull up Pritchett Canyon here. And then you can go in that, that base maps and then you hit, there's that two options at the bottom. You can go 2D map or 3D map. So you hit that 3D there and you can actually zoom in and it'll start showing you the actual land layout um, of, the, uh, of the terrain that you're going down. And this is also available on the, uh, on the, the web map version as well. So you can zoom in and start seeing some uh, real detail in uh, different uh, terrains. How do you look at one track at a time? Um, so if you want to go in, you can go in to your My Content and then in that uh, tracks. So this is actually one that was shared um, while we were up in uh, Montana doing um, a UTV run. Um, so this will pull up the map itself and um, the, actual, the actual route. Um, so then you can zoom in where you're going um, and see there. And then there's that area that I, we, uh, we made earlier. If you save a map offline, does it save to laptop or tablet simultaneously? Um, no. So if you're on the web app and hitting, um, wanting to save a, a map, um, that'll prompt, it'll put it into your offline maps and sit, prompt you to, to download it. Um, so it's not simultaneous, um, but it will, uh, will prompt you to, uh, to download it. Let's see. I'm seeing some questions about the map legend. Um, I can run over that again here. Um, yeah, so you can jump between um, 
on this this bottom right icon, um, you can hit the different base maps. So you can do 2D, jump back to 2D, and then um, do a uh, hybrid there. Um, it'll populate all the different lands. And you can see the different um, land colors as well. Um, those are all signifying of different land ownership. Um, again, when you are in the, uh, the, the elite version. Um, so this kind of has this kind of a green hue to it. That's, that's national forest land. Um, but then if you zoom in here, it'll start um, populating um, different land parcels that are owned. Um, so you can see this, this green trail here um, through Pritchett Canyon. Um, is staying in national forests. It, it comes close to some private land, um, but um, like, like through here, um, you run right along that property line, um, which is also just a, a good thing to have. I've run into situations where um, I'm going down a trail and some will think that, no, this, this road goes down private land and this you actually can show like property lines and, and where these roads go. Um, we put a, a ton of resources in on making sure that this is accurate and reliable. Um, and then there's actually, um, we've come across uh, game wardens and um, wildfire um, crews actually use Onyx to kind of get um, a good scope of, of land ownership and, and where they're going and where um, they know that they can and can't be or where um, people can and can't be. Let's see. Can you go back later and name a recorded track? Yes. Um, so again, that my content folder, um, the more stuff you put in there, the more you're gonna be going back to it. Um, but yeah, so you can go to tracks and then you can go in and edit on those, those three dots there. Um, you can just go ahead and um, pull that up and you can go in and change the, uh, the name of it at any time. Do uh, let's do a few more here. Can you post the website for the giveaway? Let's jump back up there. Can jump back to the uh, the giveaway here. So to join, you do need to have an off road, an Onyx off road account. Um, the base account is free, um, so you will need to have that, and then uh, that link there, I um, mean, get entered. Let's see. Pull up a, a couple more here. They call it when the trail system looks like spaghetti. Yeah, that's a beauty of, of public lands um, is when there is a, a ton of, of different routes um, that you can take. Um, I, back home in, in Texas, there's there's not a ton of, of public lands. Um, but yeah, I, I always love when I pull up an area and I see green lines, blue lines going everywhere. Um, Where are map files downloaded? So that um, it's stored on your, your, your device um, and it, it stays on there. Um, you can go through and take maps out um, if you're running into to usage um, issues. Um, obviously the, the, the high res maps are gonna eat up the most amount of space. Um, is there a way to keep the app open while using an iPhone? Um, what I do is I go into settings um, and I adjust the, uh, the wait time. Um, so I just leave it on all the time. So it doesn't time out whether I'm, uh, I'm touching the screen or not. All right. So looks like we're, uh, we're just about at time here. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys. Uh, joining in. Um, for the people that didn't get their questions answered, um, 
some from our uh, customer experience team will reach out to you. And uh, yeah, um, if you're looking for more resources, um, we have our YouTube channel. Um, we'll drop some links in the chat here of, uh, of uh, the playlist of how to's. Um, we're also active um, across channels. So go ahead and follow us. Um, that's where you'll find most of our, our ongoings and events and updates is Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, and Twitter. Um, we are on Snapchat as well. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate you guys taking the time. Um, I know this is a good amount of info being thrown at you. Um, this will be on YouTube um, probably first thing in the morning and you'll get a uh, follow-up email of that. Um, but yeah, um, appreciate it and uh, safe travels and uh, hope this gives you the tools to, uh, to get out there. All right. Appreciate it.